Let's solve our rational equation. 2 over 3x equals 1 over 4 minus 1 over 6x. Now, as we all know that, whenever x is in denominator of a fraction, then we must be careful that we should not have 0 in the denominator. So we will always assume that this x is not equal to 0 in this situation. Okay? We are trying to avoid those values of x which makes the fraction an infinity. Okay? And there is a possibility that after we solve this equation, we might end up getting 0 as an uh, answer. Okay? So if we, it happens, then we should ignore that solution since that should be excluded. Okay? So now let us solve this equation. So whenever you get an equation which has fractions, then you try to multiply with the highest denominators of the fraction. So first of all, I want to get rid of x's underneath the fractions. Okay? So here you can see 3x and 6x are two denominators involving x and 6x is greater than 3x and 3 and 6 they have some factor in common so I will multiply this entire equation by 6x at first let's do that and doing so will get rid of the uh, x's in the denominator so if I do 6x times 2 over 3x equals 1 over 4 will also be multiplied by 6x. So let me multiply this 6x with 1 by 4 minus 6x times 1 over 6x. Then you can clearly see this 6x and 6x cancels out and 3x, x and x is cancelled out, 3 times 2 is 6. So we'll be getting 2 times 2 is 3, sorry, 4 equals, if we divide 6 by 2 is, that's 3, and 4 it's 2. So 6 by 4 is 3 by 2, and x is remaining, minus 6x and 6x is, is cancelled out, so 1 is remaining. We have removed x from the denominator, but still we have a denominator 2 in one of the expression, so let's remove that doing similar kind of operation. So here, let's divide both sides of this equation by 2, right? Then this will be 2 times 4 equals 2 times 3x over 2 minus 2 times 1. Okay? Then you can see that 2 times 4 is 8 equals 2 and 2 cancels out. That's 3x minus 2 times 1 is 2. Let us add 2 on both sides since we want to make this 3x alone in one of the side, in right hand side in this case. So here in the left hand side it becomes 10, 8 plus 2 is 10 equals 3x. Okay. Now we have gotten 10 equals to 3x. So let's divide both sides by 3 such that we will have only x in the right hand side. So that becomes x equals to 10 over 3. So this is the solution. Let us solve this rational equation. Here you can see in the denominator we have x plus 1, x minus 3. And x squared minus 2, x minus 3 is there, but we should be able to factorize this quadratic expression into two linear factors. So let's do that. Okay. And so I can write this as simply 5 over x plus 1, nothing changes here, plus 1 over x minus 3 equals negative 6 divided by x plus 1, x minus 3. Uh, in this rational equation, the numbers that you should avoid, okay, the values of x that you should avoid such that these expressions won't be infinities are simply x equals to negative 1, x equals to 3. So x should not be equals to negative 1 and 3. Okay, We must be careful about that. And same thing holds for this one also. Okay, Now let us solve this equation. 
this equation has two denominators x plus 1 x minus 3 and their product so let us get rid of the denominator set first so here by that I mean let us multiply the entire equation on both sides by this product x plus 1 times x minus 3 let's do that so if we multiply by product of x plus 1 times x minus 3 then it will be become 5 times x plus 1 x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 plus 1 times x plus 1 x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 equals negative 6 times x plus 1 x minus 3 whole divided by x plus 1 x minus 3 okay now after multiplying the entire equation by the product of these two x plus 1 and x minus 3 you can see what cancels out okay so in the first case it these two things cancel out x plus 1 is cancelled out in the second expression x minus 3 is cancelled out in third expression everything cancels out except negative 6 so our remaining equation would be 5 times x minus 3 plus x plus 1 equals negative 6 so 5 should be multiplied with both x and negative 3 so that would be 5x minus 5 times negative 3 that's 15 negative 15 plus x and 1 so this would be simply x plus 1 equals negative 6 okay and after this let us combine the like terms 5x and x that makes it 6x negative 15 plus 1 that's negative 14 equals negative 6 let us use the addition property and let us add 14 on both sides so that we get rid of 14 negative 14 in the left hand side so that would give us 6x equals 14 minus 6 is 8 and then let us divide both sides by 6 so that will give us x equals to 8 over 6 is simply 4 over 3 so that's the solution x equals to 4 over 3 and here I'm saying this again we must be careful if we get uh, those two numbers as our answer x equals to negative x equals to negative 1 and x equals to 3 then we should avoid that solution but luckily we got x equals to 4 by 3 as our answer so we are good